In this video, we will learn what is relations. Relations is a set of ordered pairs. Aside from ordered pairs, a relation can be also represented by four different ways. First, we have the table of values. Second, we have the mapping or arrow diagram. Third, we can also be represented by a graph. And fourth, can be represented by a rule. A set of ordered pairs is composed of x coordinate and y coordinate. The x coordinate is also known as the abscissa, and the y coordinate is also known as the ordinate. Let's say we have the following ordered pairs. We have 0, 6, 1, 5, 2, 4, 3, 3, 4, 2, 5, 1, 6, 0. We know that the first point is also called the abscissa, or the x-coordinate, and the second is the y-coordinate, or the coordinate. Now, let us name it using our first, the table of volumes. Table of volumes. For the table of values, we will create our diagram and we will name it as X and Y. We're talking about the abscissa and the ordinate. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have 7 sets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3. So let us write all the x coordinate under our x. So our x are 0, 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And now, our ordinate. So we have 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0. This is what we call the table of values. The other way is the mapping or arrow diagram. So, using our ordered pairs, let us write it using the mapping or arrow diagram. So, in this case, we have a diagram which is on the left side, we can call it as our x coordinate and our y are the y coordinates. Take note, our abscissa is also known as our domains or the value of the x. And y, I would write here domain, and y coordinates will be our Now let us write all our abscissa or our domain. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And of course, our range we have 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0. We have the arrow, so we need to draw an arrow using our ordered pairs. So our first pair is 0, 6. So let us have 0, 6. 
Second, one time. One, three times. Next, two, four. The two going four. Three, three. Three going three. Four, four going two. And five going one. And six, zero. So that is our map mean or arrow diagram. Our second way in writing our relations. Let us proceed in the third one. The graph. And this is our origin. The coordinates of the origin is 0, 0. That means on the right side of our vertical line, we have the passing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And upward, we have also the passive numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. On the lower part, we have negative numbers, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and so on. And on the left side, we have the negative numbers, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6. This time, we're going to plot the points in our ordered pairs. So 0, 6, where is 0? X is 0, then Y, passive 6. 0 going to 6. Next, 1, 5. So 1 going up to 5. Next, 2, 4. 2, 4. 2 going to 4. Next, 3, 3. 3 going up 3. Next, 4, Next, 5, 1. And last, 6 for x and 0 for y. So this is now our plotted ordered pair. So we plot it in our rectangular coordinate system. Then we can connect the dots or the points. This is now our Graph. And that is a linear function. So this is on how to plot the different points using our graph. And that can also be represented as our relation. Now let us proceed to the last one. We have the rule. Okay. Rule. Or rules. In this case, take a look at our X coordinate and Y coordinate. So our rule is if I am going to add the abscissa and the ordinate, the sum is 6. 1 plus 5, the sum is 6. 2 plus 4, 6. 3 plus 3, 6. 4 plus 2, 6. 5 plus 1 is equal to 6. And 6 plus 0 is equal to 6. So our rule is that if I am going to add the x coordinate plus y coordinate, that is equal to 6. So this is our rule. So those are the four ways to represent our relations. First, the table of values. Second, the mapping or arrow diagram. Third, using the graph and fourth is using rule. So thank you for watching Senior Public TV. That is the relation.